Hello, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to use the social bookmarking site Delicious to keep track and save your bookmarks and share them with other people. So we're going to start out at the Delicious website and you'll notice that it has a kind of funny URL that's split up del.icio.us but you will get away with typing in www.delicious.com as well. From there we're going to click on get started and go ahead and create your account. and you need a username which will be important to have to share with other people and create a password that's something that you'll remember that you usually use and enter your email address and then prove that you are an actual person signing up for an account Okay. Next it's going to ask you to install the buttons in your browser and this is highly recommended. You can use uh, the buttons in Internet Explorer, you can use the buttons in Firefox or Safari as well and it should come up for the browser that you're using. Now that you have the buttons installed it'll take you to this last page which is the button tutorial feel free to look over the tutorial but I'm going to show it to you in the video as well and when you're ready to move on click at the bottom on the view your saved pages now Now, right now you just created your account so there are no saved pages so what we want to do is go ahead and save our first page or make our first bookmark so to do that um, we'll go to a website say the PK Young website and you'll notice that I have my delicious buttons up here there's a page to go to the delicious site and then there's this tag button and that's what I'm going to click is the tag button and that's going to create a bookmark for the site. It automatically fills in the URL and a description from the title. You can change those things. You could add notes to your site and you can add tags. Now tags are words that you use to describe the site so that when you look for it later you find it based on the tags you've created so you can see down here it suggests some popular tags and you can click on those to choose them you might want to write some other things in there as well um, use as many words as you want to describe your site and that's how you're going to find them later and when you're done click on save and that's going to be saved in your delicious bookmarks now to go back and look at your delicious page you can use the browser button there where it just says delicious and it'll take you back to your delicious page and you can see that it has saved my site PK Young Development and Research School with my description and you'll see on the right that I have three tags listed education PK Young and school that I've entered now I've brought up another account that I have a lot of pages saved on so that we can use that as an example for how to browse and use your delicious account and you can see that First of all, on the top here, it lists your URL, which is delicious slash your username, in my case, young DJ. And that same URL is listed in the actual browser address bar. Now, I have 62 bookmarks saved in this account. And let's say I want to find a particular bookmark. And let's say I want to look at just my bookmarks that have to do with math. Then on the right, you have a list of all your tags, and those are the tags you create when you bookmark a page and I'll choose the word math and that's going to show me all the sites that I have saved that I tagged with the word math. Now it also lists these related tags. These are tags that have been tagged on sites with the word math before that I could choose from. Now you might say, well that's fine, but how would I look for something that was more narrow than math? Well, if you go up to the top here where you have math entered in behind your username, add the plus symbol and then type in another tag so let's say math plus virtual and then press enter that's going to give me all the pages that I have tagged with both the words math and the word virtual and I could keep going I could add another plus and use the word manipulative that's going to give me all the sites that I have tagged with all three words math virtual and manipulative 
So in that way, you can really narrow down which sites that you've saved that you want to look at by combining your different tags together and seeing how they overlap. So you can see that the tags make it very easy to organize your page, to find different bookmarks that have to do with whatever you've tagged them, and to search for multiple tags at the same time to find pages that match those multiple tags. But, as you also may have noticed, it's also easy to rack up a huge number of tags and try to keep track of them all. So, next we want to look at how to bundle your tags into some organized groups, which is what I have here on the right. You can see under Interactive Math, I have this set of tags that are bundled there into a group that are similar. So, I'm going to go back to my regular page, which I can do by clicking on my username here at the top, and that will get me back to just my page with everything on it and not looking at just particular tags. I'm going to scroll down into the bottom and you'll notice that in unbundled tags here I just have a huge number of tags that are down there and it's kind of hard to keep track of them all and know what's what. So at the bottom we get to the tag options and I'm going to click on bundle tags. Okay, scroll down to see your bundle tags. I already have a couple bundles here, Interactive Math and Web 2.0, but I'm going to create a new bundle called Education. Type in the name for my bundle and click Create. And then to add things to my new bundle, I just need to click on these tags that I have. So I'm going to choose Learning, Lessons, Education, E-Learning, WebQuest, WebQuests, Okay, and when I've got all the tags I want in that bundle, I'm going to click Save Changes. You can always come back here at a later time and create more bundles, delete a bundle, or add tags to your existing bundles. And now let me go back to my regular page. I'll do that by clicking on your favorites up here. Which take me back to my young DJ page. And you'll notice on the right, I have a new bundle of tags with those tags that I chose under education. So that'll help me organize my tags a little bit better, keep them all in there so that I can keep track of them easier. And then you can also collapse or expand by clicking those little triangles. And that'll help clean up all your tags on the side to easy, more easily browse through them. Now the last thing we want to do is talk about why this is called a social bookmarking site and that is because you can share your bookmarks with anybody. So there's two different ways we can do that. First you'll notice that if I have a page saved, so over here on the left I have this doodle page bookmark, you can see that it says it's saved by 560 other people and if I click on that I can see the different notes that people have taken on that. I can see on the right who saved it and what tags they used. And I can click on any of those things to see it. So I could say, well, I think that this person's comment is very interesting. So I want to look at their account and see what else they have bookmarked. And I want to see what else they've bookmarked for computers and I'll look at their tags for computers and maybe I'll find more things that they've found this way that I can then look at and tag for myself. I'm going to click on your favorites to get back to my page and that's one way you can go down if you find a site you really like you could find other people who tagged that site and look at the sites they liked and maybe find even more sites that way but that's primarily with people that you may not necessarily know. Now if you find somebody that you like or somebody that you know, you can click on your network here at the top and you can add other usernames to keep track of other people's pages. So on the right you can see that I have a few people added to my network. Let's say that I wanted to find the links for somebody else I knew. So I'm going to go up here to my URL and after delicious I'm going to write slash Jeff Boyer because that's somebody I know and I want to look at his links and I know that's his username. And that'll take me to this page for Jeff Boyer and I can see all of his links and let's say um, you know I decided I like Jeff Boyer's pages 
So I'm going to go back to your network and I'm going to put his name in here on the right and click on add and that's included so now that I now I can see all of his inside of my network so that's a way you can collect other people's names it's a good idea to do that with coworkers or friends that you know are saving things that you'd like and then you can easily go back and look at the things they're tagging so you can see that delicious is a very powerful tool for collecting bookmarks quickly keeping them organizing organized and even an alternate search method as you look to see what other people have tagged to find even more sites don't let its bland kind of text-based appearance fool you it's a very powerful tool and you should find it fun and easy to use